These days, Blender can do just about anything, but if you want to level up your Blender skills, don't do these. Stop using world lighting. If you're anything like me when first starting out with Blender, I relied heavily on world lighting. I didn't even know it was a setting until months into my learning path, and this really slowed down my progress of learning and experimenting with lighting setups. For your next project, try this. Turn the world lights completely off and light a scene entirely with the default lighting options in Blender. To kickstart you, try out this setup. It's a simple three-point lighting system. First, add a backlight to emphasize your subject, then add a key light and a fill light. Super simple, yet highly effective. Stop neglecting motion blur. A fast track way to make your renders look like early 2000 bowling animations is to render out a sequence and leave motion blur completely untouched. This applies to animation sequences with a lot of motion. If you're rendering out a turntable or some simple text motion graphics, this isn't as important. But with that said, if your animation is lacking motion blur on a fast paced scene like this, it will cheapen the quality of your piece and look more like a play blast from a student project. Stop cluttering your project. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You open Blender, delete the default cube, add another cube into your scene, and then five minutes later you have something like this. As fun as it sounds, I don't want to sift through cubes 1 through 597, and I doubt that your colleagues or future self want to either. As a rule of thumb, start out your projects by creating a collection called LCA. This stands for Lights, Camera, Action. From the title, you should know to put your lights and camera in there. For your main components, like your finished 3D model, you can create a collection called Production. This will house the models that are finalized and ready for your production or animation. Also, create another collection called Trash to hold a copy of your most recent production model. This way, if anything goes wrong down the line or any changes need to be made, you have a backup of the model ready to go. Stop using outdated Blender builds. Believe it or not, Blender is updated every single day. It's sometimes hard to keep track of what is happening in the Blender world, but one thing that definitely needs to be updated is your Blender build itself. You might be asking, why? Well, because there are massive changes to render engines, performance speeds, and much more with every major release of Blender. It's also super simple to keep up to date nowadays with this handy free tool called Blender Launcher. All you need to do is download it, run through the installation process, and every now and then just check on the downloads in the stable tab. And if you see an update there, go ahead, click that download button. Stop using preset materials. Preset materials are fantastic if you're in a bit of a rush and looking to fill out something in the background, but this will ultimately slow down your learning path to becoming a 3D artist. Next time you're working on a project and needing to texture your main subject, Go through the motions of learning shader nodes. Try experimenting with procedural textures that are built into Blender itself. It may look intimidating at first, trust me, I know, but I think you'll be surprised with what you can create with just a few simple nodes. If you are wanting to truly learn and level up your Blender shader nodes, you'll want to check out this video here.